There's something about a Monday morning not spent in a boardroom. About taking a few days and running as far and as wide as you can in pursuit of adventure. There's something about 3,000 plus horsepower screaming in unison about how all of a sudden you become a little more carefree as your face tears through the wind. And there's something incredible that happens when you go toe to toe with the open ocean about how everyone ends up asking the same question. What's better than this? Hi, my name is Gary Hardcastle with Denison Yachting. I'd like to welcome you aboard Milling Around, a 2015 Viking 55. Before we start today's walkthrough, I'd like to point out three things that I really like about the boat. One, the Sea Keeper number nine. This is a great feature that makes those rocky days at sea more tolerable. The second feature I'd like to point out is a spacious flybridge. For a boat in her size range, she offers an impressive amount of seating. The third feature I'd like to point out is her aggressive profile punctuated by a deep V-hole. Her deep V-hole allows her to splice through waves that otherwise might seem unmanageable. We're going to start today's walkthrough in the cockpit. She features a teak sole, tuna door, and transom live well. On the starboard side, we have a fish box, which is filled with ice through the Eskimo ice chipper. There's a second fish box on the port side as well. Center line, we have a release battle post. Another great upgrade on milling around are the 250 amp short power connections. There's one to port and there's one to starboard. The starboard one is the Glendenning. Next, let's take a look at our mezzanine, which has seating for four. Below the seating, we have a bait freezer. And below that, we have a refrigerated box. On the starboard side, we have a refrigerated drink box, a tackle station, center line below the mezzanine, you will find her end room access. Down here in the end room, we find her Sea Keeper number nine gyro stabilizer, her Eskimo ice chipper, and her 700 gallon per day water maker. Milling around is powered by twin man 12V common rail engines. Each have 1,550 horsepower. She has an easy cruising speed of 32 knots and a top speed of 40 knots. Let's take the port side up to the bow deck. Center line are a pair of chocks that allow you to store paddle boards. Forward you will find our ground tackle and fortress anchor. Now let's take a look at the salon. The starboard is your main breaker panel with ample amount of storage below. To port you will find seating for six. Aft is their L-shaped set T. Below the aft set T is tackle storage. Forward is our L-shaped dinette. On the starboard side is a galley that features an island and two bar stools. The galley is appointed with granite countertops and high gloss joinery which we find throughout the rest of the vessel. The galley features a sharp convection microwave and a four burner Kenyan stove top. In the island we find four refrigerated and freezer drawers. From here let's take a look at the guest accommodations. Our first stop is the master stateroom, which is on the starboard side. It features a queen berth and an ensuite. To port is our second stateroom, which has side-by-side -side berths. This stateroom has access to the shared head. On the starboard side in the companionway is a stackable washing machine and dryer. Forward in the bow is our third and final stateroom, which is the VIP. She features a queen berth and has access to the share head. Our final stop on today's walkthrough of this 55 Viking will be her flybridge.
Her flybridge is broken down into two distinctive spaces, her helm and her seating area. Her helm features a combination of Simrad, Furuno, and Garmin electronics. Rather than discussing the features in the helm myself, I'm gonna have full-time Captain Mike share them with you. Here on the helm of the million round, we have three black box VEI screens, which are controlled by the Garmin black box unit, as well as the Furuno Navnet 3D unit. Lower on the helm, we have the control head for the Sea Keeper. Center is the control head for the MAN throttle controls. And on the starboard side is the standard Viking control head. In between the smaller monitors are the standard MAN controls with Boeing monitors. On the port side box, we have the Fusion stereo head, Sea Recovery water maker display, Eskimo ice maker display, FLIR night vision display, ACR spotlight control, as well as Garmin black box control. Center line is your Palm Beach home pod. Release steering wheel and single lever controls. On the starboard side, most noticeably, is the home controls. This includes start stop controls, battery parallel, nav lights, as well as fuel transfer. Also found in here is your ICOM ship to shore radio, your bow thruster control, and your Furuno Navnet 3D black box. Overhead, there are two drop down boxes. The forward one has the Furuno RD33, Simrad chart plotter, and a Garmin autopilot. And the aft drop down box features two Epoch number nine teaser reels. Rounding out the helm are three seating areas. Two benches flank the helm, and there is a bench sheet just forward of the helm. On behalf of myself and the Denison team, I want to thank you for joining today's tour on the 55 Viking. If you'd like any further information or would like to schedule a private showing, please contact me directly. Thank you.